Hey guys and welcome back to Subnautica and today is a big day. Today is the day where I believe I'm going to try and visit the Aurora once more. And hopefully this time we're going to make it on board and we can find out what's actually on there and what, why it's so good and why you guys are going to go there so many times. So, first off, whilst I was making a thumbnail for the previous episodes, uh, I could have some metal salvage, I think. Maybe it was, maybe it was written in, in an actual video. Um, but I went around, did some exploring, picked up some titanium, um, some copper, it wasn't too much, I was just like, I was trying to find a thumbnail location and I was picking up stuff while I was going along because I was just chilling. Um, so, I got myself a bunch of titanium which I'll take upstairs to my new locker and try and get some more of these lockers. This will be a titanium and copper locker. Probably should be a titanium only locker really, shouldn't it? That's the level you got to get to, like Minecraft, you know where you separate everything, like this, this got, you can't put, the issue about these ones, you can't put a, a name on them. Which kind of sucks, but I think that's pretty good to hold it. Titanium and uh, copper for now. Um, now, one thing someone commented on a previous episode was that I should make a grav trap uh, for food because apparently said grav said grav traps, uh, battery copper and titanium. Uh, I can put them if you put them outside uh, my base, it will attract fish and they'll stay there, be stuck there. I could use them for food, kill them. You know what I mean? Simples. Um, so maybe I'll make one of those. Battery, copper, and titanium. So I need one. Oh god, I need one uh, titanium, one copper, and a battery. Now battery should be easy to do. Let me just do it this way. I think it's what is it? Acid mushrooms. Two of them and, and copper. So we need another bucket of copper actually. Uh, is any in here? Just in case. No. Okay, so we go upstairs. We get some copper from in here. Right. Go down. I might put a fabricator upstairs as well, so I don't keep going up and downstairs. Um. Battery. So from there, was it a battery? I can make one now. They're deployable. Grab trap. And then da, 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 grav trap like that. Very simple. So we put it outside. Maybe just even just here. See, so it pulls in fish, and it's just that fish is now just these fish are just stuck in. Look, I have them. So now I can just go. Thank you very much. And this one I can go. Thank you very much. And I've got myself two peepers to eat. Very smart idea, so good comment over that was. Um, right, so moving on from that. Next one I have is about aerogel. Uh, I was asking about how to make it. I've got two batteries in here, I know. I just realized that. Um, apparently I need to uh, make it with ruby and gel sacks. So, I don't know where you find rubies or gel sacks, but we'll find them at some point. Uh, someone just said they're in the, the trailer's path or something, but I don't know where that is, so I'll just have to smile and wave. Okay, I've got loads of lithium. I've got so much like lithium, gold, and diamond. I've got all the stuff that should be hard to get. I've got loads of it. What's happened here? Why are these lockers not in line properly? Anyway, should we read this? Let me listen to this. Partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Right. I guess that's something on all these alien get gang that they speak English though. Maybe it translates to me through messages, because I'm English, I don't know. I mean, in the game, not me being English in real life. Now, apparently I can store my steam off in here, right? Oh, God. Yes, I can. What's that? That it, I mean, it's charging. What do I do when this one's out of batteries? And also, someone said that I think the Seamoth, the Seamoth, uh, 
this submarine, Cyclops, it can survive a Reaper attack. Like it doesn't it can't be hurt by the Reaper. Which I don't I'm not sure I believe it. But regardless. First of all, I'm gonna go to this life pod over here. And then I'm gonna to head to the Aurora. Oh, I'm a bit shallow for I've hurt myself a little bit. I do have to pose the question still as to how I actually repair the sub, the Cyclops. How do I repair it? I'm just like crashing into everything. It's a constant warning if you get near anything. Life, it's so far away. CTO used life pod sunk five meters before she abandoned it. That's where we're off to. Can I put it on? I hit flagged emergency speed. There's a counterfeit. Excessive noise. Who cares about noise? I'm going, mate. I want to go fast. I want to go brum brum. Uh, I need to tug on the flashlights. I want to be able to see. Warning, engine overheat. The head standard. Okay. So off over it. I don't know if I've been here before or not. Because things are different when you're in this Cyclops. There's a trash can down there. Just go straight through all these. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Well, see, the, that, those. Hey. Mate. There's a life pod there. Why is the shark playing dead? I have my eyes on this shark. Like, what's it doing? It's one of those weird sharks as well. Like they look like they're um, robots. Dead? Right, we'll take a risk here. All systems online. Hey, is this shark dead? It ain't moving. Mate, it has to be dead. Bone shark. A large prey predator that lives in small groups and fiercely spends its hunting grounds. Do it, slow down, slow down. Oh, wait, oh god, hang on. I just got attacked. 
Something just attacked me. Oh, it's one of these bloody donnies. They're all right. Silkers ain't mean to harm. Nope. I just crashed and sank. Oh, no, it's a door. Now, is this life... Have I got this before and I've gone nuts? Or... We just found a life I did not found before. No, I have been here. This wasn't a bone shark here before. That's what... That's what threw me off. Because the bone shark, I was... I obviously didn't know it was a bone shark, but because of that weird shark looking thing, I was like, wait, have you been here before? But I have. Right, in we go. This is good. It charges, my, it charges my seam off as I go. Okay, now where I was heading... It's over here. This life pod, number two, before it was abandoned. Seeing what goodies it can bring me today. These life pods like develop a story, slash also end up developing. Wait, I feel like I'm going somewhere where I shouldn't be going. Yeah, like, what are all these bone sharks now? Have they always been here? Or is this some new thing? Wait, I swear this is like... This is very deep, this life pod. This is at 500 meters, right? So I can go down that, I can go down that low. But I'm in territories that I have not been in before. But I guess I'm safe in this, in this Cyclops. So I guess we'll find out. If not... Yeah, mate, this doesn't seem right. Oh, oh, oh. That was a crash landing. These Cyclopses sure are hard to drive, you know. Bone shark galore. I've definitely come to one of those areas where I shouldn't be again. These are areas and territories that I've not really been in. Um, hey? What was that? I'm not sure I feel comfortable in these areas. They're a bit out of my uh, comfort zone. What was that? I was saying it just like, disappeared. Um. The noise. I'm sure, there's no for reason. Said that they, wait, is that one of those eel things, whatever? Wait, what the fuck? Someone said downloads were safe before. Someone said they're not like, they don't hurt you. Right, here's a good place to stop. If I get straight out. Air storage in here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, 
I'm not sure these things are safe. Cyclops Death Module MK1. New blueprint acquired. That was it, right? Wait, the PDA. Integrating new PDA data. It says T two minutes. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the ocean system seconds. to act as a bilge pump. Welcome on board. Captain. It's working. All systems online. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. Oh. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. That was all they did? That was all? That's, I came over here for that. Oh, wait, but I now have got... I can now go deeper, right? I can dive deeper in my Cyclops. Must be a place to do upgrades somewhere. Wait, I just got hit by something, didn't I? Did I hit something or am I hitting something? What was that noise? I'm not even hit I'm not even near anything. That's the scary part that this game is gonna get a lot deeper now, like as in we're all happy in our little blue seas. Like, it's all nice and bright, and now we're going down to these seas down here. With big loud noises and all this sort of stuff. All these random sharks about, for some reason. You, like, you need the Cyclops here. You, you can't be swimming around in this. Do I head towards the alien building? Yeah, to be fair, we could go that way. I need food though, don't I? I can't be. I should. I should need to. I need to store. I need to go get a lot of storage for food. If we're gonna go to the, I guess the plan is to go towards. Flanked, emergency speed. Morning. Vessel Excessive noise. Okay, um, but my plan is obviously now to go to the Aurora. So we just need to go back to our base, get some food, get some drink, get some first aid kits, make sure we're prepared. Engine. Then once we are prepared, standard. Uh, we can we'll be good to uh, go over to Aurora. Hopefully survive, not get attacked by a Reaper. That'd be some great things to happen, wouldn't it? Right, let's bear these bone sharks about. They don't seem to be too bothered by me though. I need to go upwards. You know what, I'll save you some time and I'll get back to the base. And I'll come back to you. So we are back at the base and I can now get myself some food real quick. Let me cook some peeps. Thank you, that's one. Another one. Now you, I don't even, I don't even kill you. I've got peepers galore here. Look all these dead fish around for me to eat. Well, I've got four more fish to eat there, that should be fine. Uh, I've got one more here. Uh, just cold tube samples that I need, so it's right here. Right. And I'm going to be prepared for my journey. Oh, God, my bad. I need, I need that to be fair. Uh, med kit. Bleach. We get the bleach, and basically, what it said, go to Aurora. We need to go to the back of the Aurora, and I think there's an entrance there for the Seamoth. 
Um, what's one of the areas you I can get into? So that's the way I'm going to go. Um, there's this bleaches in terms of water, don't I? So let's not be silly here. I'll also drink in the game, I'll drink in real life. If you don't mind me doing so. Huh? Right, so there is the waters. Many of them. I've got four now. Right. And I'm good to go. I'm ready. I think the village I'll ever be. Where's the, there it is. Imagine losing a thing of this size. It's that big and I'm still losing it. Oh, it's at the front, isn't it? I see moths here. So basically I want to try and get towards the back of the Aurora. Or the front of the Aurora, sorry. In the back is where the Reaper is. The front there's an entrance point. Now when I get onto the Aurora, there's going to be a lot of blueprint stuff to find. I think there are things that I need to try and find. Um, on top of that, what else is there? I think that's the main thing you guys said that was there. I think that's the whole... I mean, obviously we've not been there yet, so... I think I can fix... I can fix it. So so the radiation is no longer an issue, so I haven't got to wear radiation to it anymore, so I'm going to rebreathe all the time. I think that's a thing. Maybe I'll find more stuff to do with a suit, I don't know. You watch out for the Reaper Leviathan, right? Because he can be around here. And I don't know, I'm still, I'm still unsure. Someone said that, like, I can survive a Leviathan attack, but I'm worried whether or not you're like telling the truth or not, you know what I mean? Whether I'm like, yeah, 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 I can survive, and then just straight get killed. I'm playing it safe. Well, as safe as I can. Now I'm gonna go to this camera. Oh. Here goes camera so I can get a better look at what's on the floor bed. I'm getting too shallow right now, so I need to push out a little bit. I'm gonna get caught here. Lift up. Nice. Put a little gap. Avoid this. I'm getting too shallow again. I've got to push left. I think it falls off in a second though, it falls off into much bigger depths. This area is just like nothingness. Very clear though. Pretty good to get thumbnails in. It's almost there. Okay. So, I think that's the entrance there. Is it? Um, I'm not too sure. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have that's devastating it. effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. So there he is, look, there's, there's Mr. Leviathan himself. He's not fucking with this. Maybe I was really lucky there. Um. I'm kind of scared to get out because he's right there. Very visibly right there. <gasps> also... The gaps there I need to get through, so I need to make the way a little bit. Do you think maybe this is out of his... zone that he checks in? Why is it shaking so much? I've got to try it. You have to try it. If I lose a seam off, I lose a seam off. It's fine. It's a Cyclops I can't lose. Right, again, 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 again. All systems online. Um, okay, yeah, it's this way. Get me out of here, get me land, 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 right. 
Oh shit, I've got you lot. So this might be your first aid kit because of these these things. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait, no. The thing I need to make before I got here. Fuck. Let's see what I can do about it. Someone said I need a. Oh, what's it called? Propulsion cannon, I think. One of those hands. I've got those hands where I can pull things with gravity. I need one of those. Ow. And yeah, that would make sense. I can't get in. When you come all the way here, to absolutely no avail. Huh? You think I'm living here in daytime? You got nothing coming. Hey, night time, you got nothing coming. I'm staying here. Huh? And a fire extinguisher. You, you know what? I'll be back to you until I come back. Ship's structural integrity. Oh. Fire suppression equipment. I'm not going to do this to you. I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me go back. Explosion. You don't deserve this. You deserve better. I was, just so, I was just so excited, I forgot. I was prepared last time, but then I was ruined by a sea moth. Oh, he's infected, be careful. Well, I've gone somewhere else at this point. I've moved this way. Maybe I'll find another way in. I haven't got f and the two things I need, I've not got. Oh my god, you two need a f uh, first aid kit, right? These things are really cool. Is it. Do I not get a better weapon, I think, to attack them with? Because this is well annoying. Supply crate, first aid kit. I'm already at half health. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissue. Yeah, no shit. It's attacking me, Don. Stop attacking me. They hurt. These things really hurt you. Anything up here that's actually worth me yeah. getting? Ow. Ah, oh, mate. These things just getting on my nerves. He's like, I can do all this route right, and it's not even a bit. Ow! It's not even a good route for me to go. At least we get a, at least we get a feel for what we were always like. Why are these ones blue? What's the difference in the colours? You were just glitched out up there. Ah, oh, good attack in there. Kill that one straight away. Uh, first aid kit again. Fire extinguisher. Oh, I've actually got a fire extinguisher on me. Oh my god. From last time. So it's just a, the hand thing I've not got. So I, could, I could make it in here. Our journey may not be, be a waste. Which the door is what I need to do. Oh my god. Potion cannon kind of fragment. Are running on local reserve power, unable to remotely download black box data. Aurora engineering drone. Integrating new PDA. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. 
Recalibrate sensors. Uh. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Notes yourself. Pinging me a lot of listening. Oh god, wait, no, I can't see. It's called Notes yourself. So here we are, finally open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to the mine resources to build much massive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to install the galaxy with us ourselves? Uh, 1806, use birthday. Four weeks before we get home. Cargo bay code 1454. See that? Uh, right in it here, but I think that it stays there anyway. Cargo bay 1454. I've got code here as well, 2679 from something else. I don't know what the code is for. Data terminal. Oh, Terra launches to Aurora. Integrate new PDA data. Phase gate announced for the Ari Ariadne arm. Altera launches to Aurora. The first reach of inhabited space to expand as Altera Corp is a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Ari Ariadne arm. Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of the Altera space hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ariad he said Adrian the Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there the command crew will pilot ship behind the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately it's not shaking. Eighteen months later, there are the elite team of engineers will begin a six month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, investors will be equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Volterra Corp currently operates an amplitude phase gates in the galaxy. The Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have a move at a, 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 a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Okay. Well, you take, take from that what you will. You know that when you sprint, it puts things to the side. This is the cargo bay here. But I need my cannon. Can't get through without the cannon. Huh? Yeah, I've got everything off. You need, need that propulsion cannon. Huh? 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 Yeah, you can't. You can't parkour it, can you? If I parkour, it, I could get stuck as well. We don't want that. Well, looks so like we're going back to get ourselves a propulsion cannon. At least we got to investigate some of the Aurora today. When I say today, I'm going to go back and do it all in the same episode, so why am I saying today? Huh? Huh? I jump in the water, am I safe? I think so. Huh? Oh. No. Oh my god, imagine it was like. He's right there. I shouldn't, be around, look, I shouldn't be messing around investigating when there's a bloody reaper right next to me. Get in your seat, Mark. Welcome aboard, Captain. Try and time this well that I can get in my seat, Mark, straight up into the. Get in, get in, get in. Get in. Is there a fabricator on here? Hmm. This is where I, this is where I build my upgrades. Look, I've got my MK1 somewhere. Don't know where I make it. 
Where do I make that Cyclops MK? I haven't got a repulsion. I've got a, I, wait, what? I haven't got a repulsion cannon. I've got a propulsion cannon. I just need a wiring kit. That's what I need. And to get a wiring kit, I only need like copper and something, right? A computer chip. I need two silver ores. If I had silver on me right now, I could. If there was a fabricator on here, I could make make it. Is that a Cyclops upgrade fabricator? It's a plat steel and three rubies. Get MK1. But it's not just normal fabricator, is there? No. Okay, so we're gonna have to go back. There's no option other than to go back. Unfortunately. Whilst it was fun being down here, he's right there. It's right there. I think he's a wamp. How are we getting a life pod? I have to get past it to get to that life pod. In flank, emergency speed. Morning. Vessel counted. Excessive noise. I don't care if there's excessive noise. I'm going fast. I need to get back. But yeah, now, like I said. I will go, I'll get back to where I'm at the base again. Okay, I won't. The sun is a fire. Why is there a fire on... What? Sunny my cycle is on fire. Earth has happened. It's out here chilling, and suddenly it was like, oh, we're on fire. I guess the engine overheated from me going too fast. Right, so we need to go all the way down to that beacon, which is still quite far away. So we are back at the base in the sea moth. I've left me a uh, cycle to her waves because it's the shallow waters over here, so I'm probably bringing it here. Um, now, I need to make. A wiring kit so we can get the, propul the propulsion cannon. That's the silver ores, please. Just two of them. Don't tell me I've run out of silver for the first time. I say, there's no way that's possible. Uh, wiring kit. And then personal tools propulsion cannon. Nice and simple. So now I have this. They're the things I need. Um, now, I've got five extinguishers, I've got three of them. I've got some water, I could do some more already. Food, I'm good for. Oh my god, the food just completely destroyed my, uh, my first levels. It's decomposing, I need to keep it, don't I? Ah, okay, so that sucks. Let me throw this in the trash then. I've got a poster as well, look. Can I use this poster? Why have I got a poster? I put it on the end here. That was supposed to happen, but I guess we're under it. Out here, let's put them on the walls. Lovely poster. A bit of decoration. Okay, so well, someone else said I need. I think I need a repair tool. Uh, and another like I need. Like I need a good one. So face of might not be enough. Um, tools. Now repair tools are silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium. Now do I have any more of that left? Cave sulfur is in one of these somewhere. If it's not in these, then it's going to be in my. I know where it is. I know where one is, sorry. Um, if I go out here. And I go. My underwater lockers. Yeah, cave sulfur. There we go. Let me get a med kit from inside here. Because they respawn every, was it 30 minutes? Get a 
that missed again. How is this damaged? That seems awfully strange. My escape pod got damaged? When? By who? The fuck? Alright, so I'm go back down here, build a new repair tool, and we're gonna head back to the Aurora. Food real quick. Is it even by the time I think it'll be by the time I'm there it'll be decomposing, so I just need to just get yeah, I'm full now. And that's be good enough. I'm having my seam off and I go for a run, I should be able to survive all of this. Right, after the Cyclops, wherever it is, it's over that way. Give a jump. I think what people said is that, wow. So I think the, the Reaper, the Viathan, and whatever, just doesn't like Seamoths. That's, he really hates Seamoths, that's why. That's why he always attacks me. So I think there's a good chance that if I get in my Cyclops, he'll just leave me alone. So like, like, like last time, I just got to get there, get really close, and then just jump out, jump out, get in the seam off, quickly get in. I should be, I should be safe. Likewise, with that uh, life pod that's quite far down, if the Aurora, if the whole Aurora trip goes successfully, I'm not, I'm not carrying anything that I need, then I might go and investigate that as well. So back towards the end of the Aurora. It's a nice little simple day out in the Cyclops. So back to the front of the Aurora, sorry. We're going to get in. And I'm going to so he's use this my little hand thing that I've got now. It can move objects, I believe, with gravity. I can pull those boxes out of the way and go in down the lower floor. I guess I go and investigate whatever is in this place as a whole. I don't know what I'm expecting to find. I guess I need to get the, the, the ingredients to the, the repulsion cannon. That'll be in the cargo bay, probably. What that does, though, is that pulls stuff towards you. I don't, know, I don't even know what that does. It says it'll blow a hole in something. Maybe it actually is just used to damage stuff. What is that? Oh, it's a life pod. So what is that? It's got some red eyes looking at me. Rick for Simon Ronnie. It's worth doing that. So it doesn't see, it doesn't see me coming. Or hear me coming, sorry. That's a big hole somewhere. There it is. Right. Here's the point where I get out at. Maybe it's dark and it's good that I'll be able to see. I'm going to be able to see the nightmares that lie below. Alright, we're in. Once more, we are in. Wrong way, just crashed into the wall at uh, full speed. I was so scared, I just crashed into the wall at full speed. Here it is, right, get out here. Okay. So here we go. Moment of truth, will this work? Power is used up on this so fast. 
I've got five percent every everything I throw. Oh, fire extinguisher, mate. Okay, so put out this fire. I've run out of fuel on this one already. Use this one instead. Come on, fire! Out you go. Come on. Sweet. Okay. I guess I go underwater here. Uh, surely electric isn't good to go in. Okay, PDA. Lab access. Integrating oh. new PDA data. Door code is 6483. Lab. 6483. So I've got cargo bay, lab, and I've got another one. But I don't know what it is for. What's this then? That way? Uh, it's the lab. What is this? This is a, it's a lab. Six four eight three. Wait, what? Six four four eight three. Aha! All right, I'm in said lab. Wait, I need to be careful here, mate. Oxygen. Right, so out again. Okay, need to squeeze through here, squeeze around here, into the lab. So there's a large sample flask. Lots of them. I don't know what they are. Why, why do I pick those up for? PDA. All we can learn from the high mind of Strader. Okay. Maybe they want to load it up again. Oh, new blueprint for repulsion cannon. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Okay, same was corrupted. Oh, there's a secret that way. Uh, oh, what's this? Can I scan this? No. I'm looking for stuff that I can scan. I've got a sample analyzer, a mic microscope can take that. I've got a scan I've got a sample analyzer already. No one pick up these large flasks. Is there a reason why? My collector tank? They I can't get anything any of them other than that one. It must mean something. I right, guess more air. Now have I got a laser cutter on me? Oh, let me read that. Uh, Dave Spank. How many individuals which can make up a hive mind to be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of a larger intelligent organism, or is a larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? We define organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of their environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it would develop into. The idea of a predator is empty without it. I was saying, which prey is begs the question. If we define everything by reference to everything else, what have we actually explained? Okay. Illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strada or Strada uh, 6. A device was placed outside the nest, which would let electric individuals approaching it. The ant colony would have lost many individuals before the base danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device successfully. Successful, but costly, okay. The straight Strada 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing the as it did, as it did so. A second attempt to cover the device in sand. These two being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was playfully buried and its was called a truce. From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with the most expected solution. Which perspective is the correct one? We suggest that it is isn't. Why is this? Why am I reading this? We suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into a really set of concepts, we are painting onto the world a false impression of con concreteness and meaning, which is a reflection of our concepts of ourselves. 
We describe strata 6 individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body. Yet the strata colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components. See how I slow down? I can read properly. Just whenever I speak too fast, I stumble over my own words. We describe neurons in a brain as being dumb. The brain as a whole, as the brain as a whole, as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain, it forces out inferior ones. Do we describe it as an act of aggression, or do we mourn dead neurons? I didn't say or. I don't or. I just read that myself. When a philosophy or a technology takes hold in human society, when wars fall over them and people die, is it rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. When we stand, our existence is very serious indeed. But if it is our civilization and our universe, we are any different from the colony of Strata Six. Is it intended to be limited to things of flesh and blood, or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system and we but amoeba blowing self-important potholes in its surface? We could do we would do well as scientists. Remember that our goal is not to paint the world as we see it, but as see it as it truly is. Okay, is this so we're trying to work on some bigger things out here, you know what I mean? Uh, repulsion cannon can be made with something. Should it be here? Was it higher up? Propulsion. I want a repulsion. It was above here somewhere, I swear. Is it just is there? Applies percussive force to entities in range. So it's just like just smacks them, beats them. Um, now I'm looking for something right now. I know I am. I'm looking for a laser cutter. It's got a thirty percent battery. That will do. There's a door over here that needs to open. Hopefully, I don't need to open too many more doors because I'm running out of laser cutter battery as well. Oh god, yeah, it's gonna take a good down to like 15 or something right now, or more, Le or less, sorry. 16, 15, yeah, 15, exactly that. It's oxygen here. Oh, oh, that was a close call. There's a data terminal here. Or a black box data. Integrating new PDA data. Uh, here it is. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. High velocity energy pulse that on the planet's surface. Emergency direct on sensor. Terror listening boy via long range comm relay. Impact detected. Life of on starboard side. Compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transfer to Captain Hollister. Life was 1 to 25. Launch successfully. Entering planetary atmosphere. Massive impact registered. Drive course shield compromise. Emergency bounce back to sea from eight life pods on planet's surface. Why does here sink in the water? Human lifetime accepted over long range at T eight hours one. Person, personality unaccounted for. Non essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. Ulterior HQ rescue solution received at T minus eight plus hours to high priority terminal in captain's quarters. Uh, monitoring equipment found at T plus thirteen hours. Is that like time of impact? And then thirteen hours later. Is that what it's saying? This whole room has enough no point to it. Let's just through here. Some shit going down over here. It's fraudulent. Or wherever it is, I've made it here. Mate, there's those like. Are they the prawn suits? Is that what I can make? 
Maybe it's where, maybe it's where, it's where the prawn suit uh, blueprint's going to be. I bet. Prawn suit fragment. Blueprint's prawn suit mark three. Power in this goes so quickly. Living quarters. Filtered water. I needed some. New chimp blocks. There's foods in here. I don't really need these things, do I? More water there. More water there. Okay. Uh, fire extinguisher, please. Thanking you. I'm trying to get a habit of using numbers, so that was a comment. Just to get in the habit, try and get in the habit of using numbers and changing items. It'd be a lot faster. So that's what I'm doing. Today's menu. Integrating new PDA data. I'm not reading the menu. Surely. Same can be scanned here. Single wall shelf. There's a blueprint you come to find right there. New blueprint acquired. <gasps> Anything else in here that's worth seeing? I guess more out this way. Locked, locked. Not worth looking at. Nothing. Single bed. Buy a crate with a nutrient block in it. Bench. PDA. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Mate, new PDA they have arrangements. They don't, they don't have relationships, they've got arrangements. How strange. Um, okay, so I can... I got this stuff. Why do I need this? I don't really know. I can't get in there, can I? No. Ow, 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 hot. Alright, go everything out of here. I don't know what these carryalls are. Why would I want a carryall? What's that on the floor? I can wait. So you can use that as storage if you're smart. 
So I can put a microscope in there. And then... Okay. Open storage. And I can put the flash, humble flask in there. And I know that up here, there are two carryalls that have stuff. Integrating new PDA data. Well, Terra Arms plant uh, pamphlet. Charity isn't... Okay, do we need to be reading all of this stuff? I get that it's flipping the story, but some of it is a bit like long-winded, you know what I mean? Cabin one. Try it. Don't know the answer to that one, then. It was the last one you got? It's a puppet document. Huh? Do smartly put stuff in the bags. That would been the smartest thing. So right now, like... So I've got one bit of a prawn suit, or did I finish prawn suit? I feel like it's only one bit. Captain's quarters. Well, that's Captain's quarters that's opened. Captain's log. Learning program, Craig McGill Simulator dot VRAT. Size, one player, cap and hot dog Hollister, map burial nine, resources normal. You are exploring a quiet alien battles when your ship you arrived here it implodes. It must be your acne kidney poachers. Quick what we do. Search the crash site, farm alien plants, use the tectonic de imploder. That's just what Craig McGill would do. I'll throw it in for some hours, you've collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs, which we use to sustain yourself with. Stank, root, treat, roaches, stalwart eggs. While the stalwart eggs are nutritious life cycle of these vast space spring creatures, it's much too slow to sustain a farm besides I was extremely angry with you. Fight the Star Wars, apologize to Star Wars, accept your fate. Craig McGill knows there is no reason even for mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart, spoiled, while Howard disintegrated. The atoms that you thought you thought were you are gradually redistributed in service of the Star Wars continued survival. You're letting you know. How okay. A bit random. Oh. Last recall the transmissions. Hey, the blue, this blueprint was set. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform. Deploy platform provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. Gantry. Via structural support. Stage one. Prime process for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage 2, fuel reserve. Stage 3, cockpit. Features one person life support, shore range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Warning onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of any materials to power the craft and increase the range in other different ways. Pick up Aurora miniature. Yeah, cool. I've got a little miniature of the. Uh, Aurora. I'm gonna take that back to my base and plop it there. Make it homely. New blueprint acquired. Nothing there. Okay, so we need to get the code to cabin one. Which I haven't got. Nor do I know where it would be. I don't even know when I wrote down the 2679. Gotta try and find that somewhere. Okay, let's go back into here. 
feel like there's more that I can do in here than what I did. Oh. There's nothing over here. So see a fire there. Go out the fire. Black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. It's a black. Wait, I think I've already got the black box. This is another one. Prepare tool. Prepare this for me. Mate, what is going on? What's down here then? Water again. It's easy to press the numbers. First aid kit, which I don't need. Sealed door, aid to cut open. PDA. Aurora auxiliary mission orders. New PDA data. Okay, I need to check that in a second because I need to get oxygen first. Okay, mission search and rescue. Type crew of the Mongolian vessel Degazi. Last known position, position of Planet 4546B. Ready at arm contact. Mongolian mission in Jockey, Kassar, or passenger quarters. Mongolian vessel, the Degazi, appeared almost a decade ago, carrying with its high ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for emissary Kassar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degazi crew members without compromising the primary, primary mission. Following the fate of the crew, will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Mission details. Aurora is used to form a slingshot maneuver around 4546B, approximately 30 months post-launch. This is a ship within the range of Degasi's last in position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in Aurora's cargo package for this mission. Degasi crew manifest has been distributed to senior employees a separate message. Okay, cool. So we've already like, tried to find those survivors anyway. Integrate From Wiggins. Here we go. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside, but well, now you've only gone and got yourself a friend with the keys for a giant freaking robot suit. You've playing got nothing to do till we get star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You didn't know you don't know what power feels like to you crush an asteroid with your bare, heavily, mechanically augmented hands. Wanna play catch for passing me to your come by cabin number one, code eighteen sixty nine. Cabin one uh, code one eight six nine. Simple mate, alright? I can do that with ease. Now I need my laser cutter. Which will hopefully survive this door, which I don't think it will. I try. It's gonna get like 90%, it'll be really annoying. Don't look, maybe it'll work. Oh, you're gonna take the piss. the sea glide if I unload the battery ah uh, and then that battery is now available uh, and then laser cutter is there power source there easy right Nice and simple. Get up the oxygen. Right, before I go on a massive mission. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technology. It's water. It's fair, they keep you they give you a lot of stuff in here which keeps you alive. No 
almost a bit too much stuff. I shouldn't have drunk water then. I was I'm way too not thirsty in doing that. Uh, okay, right. Seam off bay. Uh, damage wiring. So I need a repair tool again. Get that repaired. There's a seam off bay here. I guess everything you actually need is on the... Is that what you're about to say? Everything, everything on the boat. Everything you need is on the boat. Yeah, sweet log. Integrating new PDA data. Why? Why do I want that? <laughs> this seems awfully unnecessary. See my fragment. It's easy titanium, but I don't need it. But if I make a seam off, it's all there. Everything I needed to make a seam off was right there. All from the get go. And this way was what? Drive room. Uh, fire the extinguisher. Sustained internal damage during collision. Why? Well, oh, swimming still. Mate. Okay. Pick up the Cyclops Warning. engine Local efficiency. At maximum tolerable level. Ooh. Breach. Drive core shielding breach. The Aurora's drive core is shielded by a thick metal shell, which breached in multiplication shortly after the crash. Once breached, you will continue to leak radiation to the surrounding environment until the breach is sealed. After that point, the radiation environment will just dissipate over time. This procedure should only be attempted with appropriate radiation protection and a fully charged repair tool. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. I've got to find all the breaches. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Hmm. Very well. So I'm doing everything. I'm basically fixing this whole ship at this point. This could be, be a long episode at this point, I'm afraid, guys. Well, I'd say I'm afraid. You guys are probably happy with that. Some people have said to make the episode shorter. But those people are going to be unhappy with this one. Uh, breach. Containment breach one here. Further breaches detected. I can see radiation leaking from it, live and direct. Containment breach repaired. Further I can see one detected. here. Hey. Containment <laughs> breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Are you good? What was that? Oh no. No, no, there's more of them. Fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Guess I'll just repair it again. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. How they, how have they all disappeared? I'm baffled. There's one there. Come on, we can survive this. Containment no, not breach again. What do you pricks want? That one's a fit infected. I assume they like they're like leeches. Yeah, they, I think they just mess up my uh, 
Make you bleed. Disinfected Donny. Okay, let's just get these done. So you press two straight away if I get attacked. Three. You have three left to go. Have you done them all? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Here's this. One more, and it's over here. Breach repaired. Further breaches detected. One. Come on. Now what? I think I'll get rid of the radiation. I can be your hero, baby. Yeah. So I've fixed up the ship a little bit. I'll see what's on this side. Is there anything for me to get? You should be dead, mate. Maybe they are dead. I can't get out of this. I can. Has anything else me to what is this? Hmm. Some fires aren't worth trying to to uh, extinguish. I say distinguish then, that doesn't make sense. Distinguish the fire. Okay, so done this bit. Oh, fire extinguisher. Need one of those because mine are all going to poop. Right, so done that part. So I need to go back to the cabin and get the prawn suit stuff. Uh, where was cabin one? Past the pawn bay. If I could have checked in this room some more. Probably some more stuff needs to find. Power cell. Let's have a look, see if there's anything to scan. One. Anything to scan around here, mate? I'm all about the scanning life. No one to show me something, they can watch the scan. No, I think you get one bit of the you get one bit of the prawn suit and you get excited. There's PDA there. No slides. Okay. So I go up here. Cabin one is this way. I'm right. And the code was 1869. Integrating new PDA data. Responsible autonomous relationships. All the good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is fair exchange of value, support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supply, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It's important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they're not wrong in their risk supply or budget. End okay. I mean, where's the prawn suit at then? Pick up blue cap. Got arcade gorge toy. Um, the prawn suit, mate. I came in for a prawn suit and all I got was some shit about relationship. <laughs> kind of not what I was looking for. I was, I mean, yeah, that's like, sweet, huh? thank you, but... <gasps> kind of on a prawn suit. Where do we go next then? Where do we go now? 
I feel like all these quarters have been done. There's posters on the wall I can still pick up. But I'm not really fussed about these posters right now because I don't want to take up my inventory slots. I can come back here off camera and get stuff like that if I really need to. But I want to find stuff that's going to forward the progress of this series. And that is prawn suits. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's, maybe it's due to that. Two or four. Huh? There's one last fragment somewhere. I'm sure, he should have been in his room. Hmm. This kind of sucks because I've got three out of four. And I should really. Oh. Prawn fragment. Here we go. I can make a prawn suit now. New blueprint acquired. Now I should head back uh, the way we came down this like, little corridor this way. A flashlight. Take that. Why not? Uh, I came in through here, from inside here. From here I came down, this is where the beta box was. We downloaded it. Can I repair this? No. Um, I say the door's locking me in mate. Go this way and up. So now I can go. I need to go. That door's not open, is it for me? Right, so if we go off here. I mean, there's not been that much. I mean, they've got the prawn suit. We've, I guess, developed the story a little bit. There's not been that much stuff on the. On the uh, Aurora, to be fair. We could have got a lot more. I thought I would have seen a lot more things. But I guess it's not over yet. We've done, we've done the bottom bit. But now we've got to go up here with the cargo bay and stuff. Oh, God. Must have dealt with all you pricks earlier. Fly on the wings of love. Fly, baby, fly. A bit uh, choppy today, the game. Might be because we need the Aurora. But we could bring the settings down to make it a bit better. Instead of having everything on that bloody highest setting possible. Okay, so we come up here and we got rid of some stuff, didn't we? Now, what was holding, what was holding me back? I think I had to move stuff out of the way down here. And I've not got that much stuff left, so I can't. Le the less we can use that, the better, because we might need to use somewhere else. All right, what's in here? Battery. Fair enough, I'll take a battery. The cargo bay was 1454, so 1454. Nutrient block. Nutrient block again. Guess I can take that for now. Water. Okay, unless it's super important, I don't really know. Oh, what's this? Cyclops engine fragment. That's titanium. Got that already. Water again. And a block. Integrating new PDA data. So this is TransGov Profile, or TerraCorp. 
This is Baymont Earl's Heracle Par, the one of the largest suppliers of space fairing technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation. The official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defence manufacturer in the 22nd century. National motto is get what you deserve. Although most transgovs can trace their roots back to Earth, or Terra Luxe Union by Earth is only one, is only one brazen enough to take its name. During expansion, Terra has supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce and making a transition from manufacturer to corporate state. While Terra's threat seized trade from the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the, char- the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera's base is encouraged, but competition is tight, and all goods exported off world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are bought only bought out only are bought out by the state. Owners send into the board of directors. Well known Altera technologies like the Cyclops submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees. The voluntary elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. This claim is not even tested in Federation courts. Some of these, like, because obviously they're trying, I guess they're trying to build, basically they're trying to build depth in the game. It gives you like, a bit more of a backside into like Altera and where it all is. And so I think sometimes, I guess, I've like gone a bit too far with it. And it, it's like almost like disinteresting, but I guess it is too interesting at the same time, so. I don't know. Just that meme of like, Overdoing it. It's one of those ones sometimes. These are one of the best one of the best games I've ever played though. Or I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out once more stuff happens. Cargo Bay 4. So this ultimately I think I'm done on the Aurora. I think there's nothing else for me to find here. I fixed radiation, that's the key part, right? The key part that's what you're doing is to fix all the the uh the radiation down here. So that for the rest of the map now. I haven't got to worry about wearing a radiation helmet, I don't think. A radiation suit. Maybe by being on here as well now, it develops the story some more. I've been to administration. I've got a prawn suit, which is another thing I need to try and get from here. I think I can only get it from here as well. A bunch of decorations and stuff I can get from here. I don't need those though, like the... Like the, uh non-functional science lab stuff. And the fact that it stays non-functional to me means like, yeah, there's no point using this at all. And it's straight up telling you like, you don't need to use this. Dive. Imagine it was right there straight away. And when I say it, you know what I mean by it, don't you? A very dodgy, very dodgy thing. Where's the steam off at? Over there. Why are there any like secret bits around here that I can find? There's a wall here. It's a fake. It's all locked off. Wait. Wait. wait, wait. Steam off is there. Thank you very much. Right, so I guess we now begin our journey back to the ends. Once we get back to the ends, I guess we'll work out what we're going to do next. Because what that is, I don't really know. Why is my Cyclops not opening? Hello? Why is it off? I have the engine running the whole time. Engine powering down. Oh my god. I am a knobhead.
Okay, so I've got one power cell. So I've got 17% battery. May I'm an idiot. I was like, why is my Cyclops not working? So it's very unlike this game for it's not saying not to work. So I need to get a power cell charge now because I've fully fucked myself. Engine powering up. What's that there? I see the repo over there. Not going near you, mate. I'm just going to go back. All right, it's been fun. But I'm going to head back. But yeah. I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, we visited Aurora. So I guess now the case about finding what we're going to do next. I'm going to go find those life pods. I'm going to go to the, uh, the Degazi habitat. But last time I went there, there was a lot of stuff going on down there. So I'm not sure. But I think I need that to find the cure for my uh, like disease or illness that I've got. So I need to carry on that storyline. Um, I need to carry on with the life pods and find ones that I've not found so far. I also probably could do with going back to the island, uh, the tropical island at some point, in order to find, get seeds um, for all the plants I didn't get, so I can make some interior grow beds, uh, stuff like that. So that's all something I can do soon as well. Let me know in the comments what other things you think I should do. Like I've done the Aurora now, so ultimately that's, as far as you know, is pretty much done for the Aurora. I don't need the, I don't need radiation uh, suit anymore. I can have my rebreather on all the time. Um, there's a lot of other things I need to do. I need to build a modification station now as well, because I got that in the last episode. Was the last episode? I think so. I need to build. Excuse me. I need to build that so I can get the ultra high glide fins, the super high capacity tank for me. Lots of things like that that I can do in the next episode or next coming episodes. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna head back to the, uh, my base now. Probably my cyclops somewhere else because where my base currently is is in the shallows. So at some point I need to move my base away from the shallows um, to somewhere else because my cyclops can't fit here. I need to make a better base. So if you think of a good place I need to build my base. You, anyone who plays the game out there and you know a good place that I can build my base. I'm thinking maybe by the tree of life in that in that, in that mushroomy area. That would be quite cool there. But I guess a lot of mushrooms in the way so that'd be annoying. Go find a cool area to build basically. Maybe like the Maybe the red uh, sharks, though. Maybe the red uh, grass area will be quite cool. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed it, then leave a like on it. And as always, any comments you leave about the actual video itself and about the series itself, would be very much appreciated. And I always read them all. I'll see you guys next time. Good. Bye. I'm a Marcus, bit excitement, like it's a circus. Wanna see more exciting things? Check my YouTube channel or circus. If you hear something in my bar, you think I didn't even know that I said? Boy, better know when I'm on the mic and I speak, better know that I said it on purpose. That's right, I'm a Marcus, saying it again. Pass me a pen. Black truth's gonna make truth right past them. I'm a star, sounds great like gems. Yeah, haters gonna hate, you can't stop them, fam. 